Most of those who are watching the video now must have been bullied at least once in their lives, if not most days of their lives, especially during adolescence. I admit to you that bullying is one of the worst things any person can be exposed to, as it generates rage, anger, and hatred. It may even lead to dark thoughts about punishing those who bully you. These thoughts may be too dark, but in the end, they will remain just thoughts, and you will not do anything that you will regret. Or will you? However, Costa broke the rule and did something that shocked all the inhabitants of Serbia, and even the entire world. When this boy was bullied by a group of classmates of the same age in his school, he took a gun from his father and ended their lives, and he wasn't satisfied with that. He even targeted his history teacher as well, carrying out a massacre that we only see in movies and read about in history books. The strange thing is that many people sympathized with his case, especially teenagers of his age. I am not one of them though. Do not expect me to be generous and encourage such actions. I take this very seriously. There are families now grieving over the loss of their children, and I know that most of them are of the same age as this boy who committed the crime. Most of them have heard about this case. Perhaps they have sympathized with him and even encouraged him to do what he did. Before I share my personal opinion, which many of you may not like, let us go back to the beginning. Specifically in Belgrade, the capital of Serbia, Kosta lives and studies. He's only a 14-year-old teenager, and he suffers from bullying in his school. It is said that he is a good student with high grades. His friends describe him as a polite boy. But like many good students who are polite, he experiences some bullying and teasing from some of his classmates. It's not severe bullying, just occasional jokes and words to make fun of him. It's something that anyone can experience or has experienced at some point. After enduring this bullying for a while, Costa's classmates were threatened that he would kill them all if they didn't stop. And as we know, these types of teenagers won't stop mocking and bullying. In fact, they often get used to it, and it becomes a hobby. Instead of stopping, they increase their bullying, specifically targeting Costa because he had threatened them. We can see this in the popular video that allegedly shows them mocking him, imitating shooting him as he had threatened. This was their final act of bullying before the disaster occurred. After this, Costa took a blank sheet of paper and wrote down the names of everyone who had bullied him. And yes, this is a list that Costa created to target everyone on it and send them to the other world. Some may wonder why the name is specifically erased as information. Well, it is said that this name belongs to one of the bullies who insulted Costa before the tragedy happened. The name is there to indicate that the owner of this name is the luckiest person in Serbia. The important thing is that Costa planned his crime for a month. It seems he took his time to think, and what he did was not a result of a fleeting moment of anger. The image you see is his plan, a strategy he relied on to position himself at the right place and time to gather everyone on the list in one place, so he could deal with them all and leave no one behind. As for the weapon, Costa took his father's gun, and it's worth mentioning that Costa was skilled in using weapons. He trained with his father regularly. When Costa took the weapon, don't think that he was nervous because it was his first time carrying it, or that he was surprised by the change in the weapon or how it worked. He had no problem with it, or hesitations in using it, if he was already accustomed to firing it. Costa knew very well how to handle it. On May 3, 2023, Costa took the weapon out of his house and headed towards the school. He drew his weapon and approached the school door. The guard attempted to intervene and prevent him from entering. According to some sources, Costa was openly armed, and when the guard tried to stop him, he became Costa's first victim with a single shot sending him straight to the afterlife. After that, Costa entered the school and headed directly to the history class, where he had planned to carry out his actions. You may wonder why the history class? This was because Costa had previously complained to his history teacher about the bullying he endured, but the teacher didn't take it seriously or address Costa's concerns. In Costa's view, if this teacher couldn't handle student problems, then he didn't deserve to be a teacher and didn't deserve to live. Costa decided that he would be the one to send him to the afterlife. As soon as he entered the history class, there was chaos, and no time for negotiation. He started with the teacher, sending him directly to the afterlife, and then proceeded to the students on his list, a group of six girls. Costa, one by one, sent them to the afterlife as well. I leave it to your imagination to grasp the horror and terror of the situation. The entire operation was carried out in a mere 25 seconds, 
the ages of the student victims ranged from 12 years old. I apologize if this narration has disturbed you, but it is important to face the reality. Immediately after his actions, Costa called the police, turned himself in, and claimed to be mentally ill. According to the law in Serbia and the region and due to his young age, he can only be judged by being placed in a psychiatric hospital. This was also part of Costa's plan. Serbia was turned upside down after this tragedy. A three-day national mourning was declared, and all celebrations and holidays were cancelled. It was truly a chilling incident that took place just last week. I've mentioned it before, this world is not perfect, and there is a side of it that exhibits unimaginable cruelty and darkness. Bullying is one of the worst experiences one can endure. However, believe me, if you look at things from a different perspective, bullying itself can be a powerful motivator to rise in this lonely world. But resorting to violence and sending the bully to the afterlife will not benefit you in any way. Most bullies suffer from self-confidence issues and feelings of inferiority, which is why they bully others. Committing a heinous crime against a group of children between the ages of 12 and 14 is not justified by bullying, my friend, regardless of your age. No matter how much you are bullied or ridiculed, do not take Costa as an example. Most likely, he will spend the rest of his days in a mental institution and may be transferred to prison once he reaches the legal age. He will spend years of his life incarcerated. As they say, the best revenge is success and progress in life. Let the experience of bullying and ridicule drive you to strive, work hard, and excel in any field you are passionate about. Understand, my friends, that the world we live in sometimes reveals its unimaginable cruelty and darkness. This world will not show you respect unless you are strong and rise to the highest levels. So be strong and live, my friend. Finally, I would be very happy to read your comments and opinions in the comments section.